The Fifth Amendment outlines two methods of amending the U.S. Constitution. Only one of the two methods has been used in the past for the 27 amendments that have been passed by Congress and ratified by the states. The other method is driven by the grassroots and the states to call a convention of states to propose the types of amendments that Congress seems unwilling to consider. Do you support the Convention of States initiative and the standardized state petition that has now been passed by 19 states to call such a convention to develop amendments that would impose fiscal restraints on the federal government, limit the power and jurisdiction of the federal government, and limit the terms of office for its officials and for members of Congress? Why or why not? I'll tell you, this is just right up my alley because I think in every possible situation where we can reduce the intrusion of a government, we ought to exercise it. So to, th to this, I would say definitely yes. Yes, we have to limit the government control and we have to give local jurisdiction more of a power to exercise their own destiny. So I'm for it to make sure that we do not uh, let the government totally um, can control all the aspects. So yes, I agree with this proposition and I would vote for every um, situation where we are trying to limit and give it to the state that particular um, function. Because it is up to the people of given state. Each state has a different needs, different requirements and we should honor that as well. Thank you. Stephanie, the same question. Does Kathy support the Convention of States initiative and the standardized state petition that it has now been passed by 19 states that limits the or provides fiscal restraints on the federal government, limits the power and jurisdiction of the federal government, and limit the terms of office for officials yes. and members of Congress? Yes. Um, Kathy Salvi is, is an attorney, but she's also an incredibly civic-minded and patriotic American. So she understands, like many of us, like all of us in this room, how sacred and important our Constitution is and how important it is that we preserve it as it is and make it as hard as possible to change it at the whims of anyone who just happens to be passing through Washington on their way to power. And so for that reason, that Kathy would support the, the harder, longer, more arduous petition um, alternative to altering our Constitution. One of the things that we realized, and this Constitution was sacred about protecting, was the power and control of Congress to rule basically as itself. What we've seen is Washington is no longer a representative government of our republic with people in in Washington bringing the ideas and thoughts of their people. Instead, it has become a swamp and they are dictating what we need to believe from their position. So Kathy would one wholeheartedly support all measures that limit the power and extent of the federal government and its ability to change the sacredness of our Constitution. Thank you. Thank you.